and they're off for the Group 2. King George Qatar stakes over the five furlongs. A brilliant beginning from Big Evs, who leads early on. Pontos tries to join in near side in the orange and white. Between them in the pink is living the dream. Then came the great desperate hero from Kurdos and Rogue Lightning as Fur is next and then Starlust and further behind to Believing and Starlust and they'll soon be up towards halfway. It's Pontos to the outside, leading now from Big Evs. Living the dream is still close up. Then Kurdos and desperate hero away toward the left-hand side as Fur and Rogue Lightning the next ones then believing Starlast and Starlasson. They're racing now towards the final furlong and a half and Big Evs has now reclaimed the lead, living the dream pressing. Pontos in behind. Kurdos is trying to run on. Here comes Asfura towards the stand side, now beginning to unleash her run. It's Big Evs inside the final furlong who leads it by a length and a half to Asfura who's trying hard near to the line. Big Evs from Asfura. Big Evs and Asfura to the line. They head. It's nothing in it. Big Evs has won it. Big Evs from Asfura then came believing. Followed by Kurdos and living the dream from Starlast. The Big Evs journey continues. Mick, congratulations yeah. indeed. Um, what was that like to watch? Uh, Nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought they were going to come and do us at the end, but obviously he's, he's very tough and sort of found a bit more. Tom gave him a great ride. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, great. Great to watch. Um, different terms, different day, different weights. Did you, did you, and a different track? Did you fancy bringing him back here and reversing the result with the Aussie mare? Yeah, definitely. I mean, didn't really. I mean, Asuka, I think the, the ground probably wasn't perfect for us. Um, and like, obviously, stiff finish at Asuka, completely different here. And the ground was a lot quicker here as well. So yeah, I mean, really fancy winning, winning today. Um, Mick, we'll keep you here if you don't mind. But Tom, just bring you in. Just, just from your perspective, it was always likely to be an electric, fast-paced race. Did it live up to expectations? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it kind of felt like there were two waves of the race almost. Obviously, Pontos, um, having ridden against him before, I know how fast out the blocks he can be. And um, look, he didn't miss a beat for that first furlong. And um, look, I was uh, sort of very much in the mind of what we all were, is riding him for him. And he's got a lot of speed, but he, he's probably not quite as sharp out as Pontos would be. Um, but that sort of three to the two was sort of almost when our wave started and um, just carried on that slingshot. And, and, and to be honest, even when the mayor challenged, he he just he didn't feel like they were ever going to get by. He just kept extending his head out. Um, and as, as we sort of said at Ascot and hoped, um, this track just turned the tables for him and he's just got so much natural speed, it suits him down to the ground. So every reason to think in three weeks' time, are you, are you confident if, if the Nunthorpe is, of course, the plan of, of maintaining that form, should Asphora take you on again? I think so. I think it's another track that suits him beautifully. Obviously, he's shown that already. Um, uh, Look, he's, he's, he's shown he's bounced into his three-year-old career in as good, if not even better form. Um, to me, he feels like he's got even faster and even more effective in his gait. So, um, look, it's, it's exciting for the rest of the season. Uh, Tom, well done. Look, Mick, Mick, we'll leave you the fun. What a week you're having here down in Sussex. I mean, um, when it comes to mapping out the rest of the season with this fellow, because he's only had three runs or so, hasn't he, this campaign, how do you see the rest of 2024 going? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I'll have to have a chat with Paul on where we're going to go. I mean, obviously, we've got the num four, yep. possibly the Abbey if the ground came up quick, which is probably unlikely. Um, I mean, I would imagine whatever happens, we'll be topping it off back in America, I would think. <laughs> um, just summarise this week for us, if you can. Oh, it's been amazing, absolutely unbelievable to come here and have four winners. I mean, like, never dreamed you'd have four winners here, but, yeah. Yeah, for the for the team we've got. I mean, but yeah, I mean, it's all down to the staff that work very hard at home, um, especially like through the winter months. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we have all the good staff we've got. I mean, it wouldn't be possible. So on, it's down to them and all the owners that we've got that support the yard. So I mean, it's just a great team. Great, congratulations. Yes, thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com. <laughs>